Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 97 of Daryl20's Let's Play series, where today I'm getting ready to make a tier 5 altar, and then we're going to set up some rituals to do some cool stuff. Sound cool? Uh, so what I'd like to do, uh, let's see, you are going to be 52, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 per side. 13 per side. I guess I could have done that, too. Uh, let's get some speed runes here. We're going to start with that. We're going to need 26 more of these. We're getting there. This is why I want to upgrade this altar. I needed a bunch of new slates and stuff to make all the ritual stones and all the stuff I need for this next stage of, of getting into Blood Magic-y advanced stuff. And I was like, you know what I could really use? A better altar. I'm like, oh, right. I'm probably at the stage where I can make a Tier 5 altar now. And... Yeah, I definitely am, actually. I'm also going to throw this reinforced explosive cell in here. Uh, this was made with this stuff, but I also found them when I was mining, so not a big deal. And I think I put this in here, and then in, this is how you or double uh, Demonite. So if we look at Demonite, there's really no good way to or double it, uh, short of... This. That's pretty much your only option, right? So you get double with like a 25% a chance to get one more. So not bad. Not bad. Uh, what did I want? 26 of you. So if I put that in there and then asked for 13 of these, we'd be cool. All right. Not bad. Where's my exchanger? Let's do a range of just max it out. And then if we check our speed upgrades, we should be cool for that. Nice. All right. Now, how many acceleration runes do I have on this guy? Right? Those are displacement. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So technically, I could fit five more. Right? Technically, I could fit five more. Are these speed runes? They are. So let's get... Five more? We're going to need four demonics and 15 of those. But I think if I put five more of these in here. Missing 10. That should be cool. Start. Excellent. So if I do this, and we do this, that should make the insertion of that stuff way faster. Okay, now I probably want, let's make it 13 more of these. So I think I need 16 of these for that to happen, because it's two tier one runes. Excellent. Excellent. So let's make these last ones just be blank runes for now. Does that sound cool? Uh, and then we'll decide what we might want to do with them. <coughs> that should work. You know, because uh, realistically, that should be fine. Yeah, let's just go blank rune. Boop. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Undo. Oh, I guess not. Did I do... Oh, I see what I did there. There we go. That's cool. Now I should be able to take... Uh, did you turn colors? Is this guy a different color? Or am I crazy? Am I crazy or is he a different color? <clears throat> is that because he's, like, running? Hmm. Okay. Hey. And then I assume I can just smelt you like usual. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I have to arc it again. Okay. And then I have to fluid it, and then I can smelt it. Okay. Uh, so I need a re a hellforged resonator or a crystal resonator. 
would this be? Amethyst, gold, Hellforged. Well, I don't have any Hellforged. Well, I could get a Hellforged. I could get one Hellforged. Oh, I actually have Hellforged sand. I must have found this down in the place, right? That's the stuff that you actually smelt into Hellforged ingots. Cool. All right. So let's go up here. This is this I'm not familiar with. This is all new content. So I'm, you know, kind of learning it as I go. But if I snag one of these, we should be cool. Now I can sleep, thankfully. Okay. Uh, so I take, I take it. I want this and this, and let's put this in here for a sec because I need my inventory space. And we want, I want the the top tier of this, right? So an amethyst crystal and gold. That seems easy enough. An amethyst crystal and gold. And then how much? Minimum of twelve hundred drained four hundred. This is actually going to drain a healthy chunk of this, but that's okay. Minimum twelve hundred. And that's a clever way to gate advanced stuff without making it crazy expensive. I always liked the well system in this mod, because I'm like, that's actually quite clever if you think about it. Uh so let's get you going. Yeah, it's totally changing color. I don't know if it's because of this thing, like that determines the color. I have no idea. It might be. That's kind of neat, actually. It's a neat effect. All right, now we need to convert this into sand using advanced cutting fluid, I would guess, is what I want. And that is an... Okay, cool. Oh, you need Hellforge sand to make this? I probably shouldn't have smelted all my Hellforge sand then. Uh, then let's try the other cutting fluid. Intermediate cutting fluid, would that be cool? Tau oil, glowstone gunpowder, sugar, sulfur, and a water sigil? Okay. That's the thing. Let's get that made. Uh, so in here, I'm going to want like an orb. So tau oil is three fruit and a bone meal. Like that. Okay. Glowstone. Gunpowder, sugar, sulfur dust. Gunpowder, sulfur dust, sugar, and a water sigil. And a water sigil is water reagent, which is sugar, water, and water. Oh, great. Sugar. Let's put this stuff away because I don't think I need it at the moment. Water and water. Luckily, I automated water buckets. Okay. That'll get me my water reagent. And which was the rune that I needed? Blank slate. And then my ashes, which I might have somewhere. There they are. This can go away too. And then this. And then that, and then my blank slate, and that's your water sigil. And then these guys all go in here. And then finally the water sigil, which will magnet into my inventory in a second. There we go. And that's how we get our intermediate cutting fluid. Sweet. I didn't realize I was making such a long process of this. <laughs> I did not realize. That's funny. That's all right, though. All right, so then you go in here, and then you guys do this. And then let's speed it up. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw at least two stacks in here, but I'm going to keep this stuff. And then what we want is some demon... Uh, what's that stuff called? Hellforged. We need blocks of them, uh, specifically four. 
Because now no longer do we need beacons here, but we need... Hellforge blocks. Back in the day, it used to be a beacon that you would place here. But this is a new mechanic, like I said. I'm having so much fun with Blood Magic in this series, I'm telling you. It really is a good mod. Because there's so much in it. Now, if we look at this, we should have a Tier 5 altar. Are we missing something? That should be a Tier 5 altar. Did I swap all the runes? I did. I did. That shouldn't matter. That shouldn't stop it from being Tier 5. Tier 5 altar. All right, and I guess I need to visualize it. Oh, they actually go, okay, no, that's, that's cool. They go below, today I learned. Much faster to break with a spell, especially when flying. Didn't it? Didn't I place this? I must be crazy. There we go. Tier 5 altar. Complete. Now we should be tier 5. We are. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. Uh, now, where is all my LP going at the moment? Because you, sir. Are we low on LP? I guess we are. Oh, you know why? Because I left the lights on. Ha! <laughs> There's your problem, dire wolf. There's your problem. I left the lights on. Like, where's all my LP? Oh, right. I left the lights on because I was in there. Bad, Direwolf. Bad. Get things up and running again. All right. Uh, so we'll come back in a minute uh, once I've got everything kind of up and running good. And then we're ready to get into our rituals now. So we've got a Tier 5 altar. Uh, we're also going to want to snag another 32 of these so that I could get more ritual stones because I know... Missing three, huh? That should be enough. Cool. That'll get me 32, because remember, these craft four at a time. Sweet. We're getting there. Now, where'd my map? Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Great, great, great. Back in a minute. All right, so I've bookmarked the different things I want to do here, right? So Crack of the Fractured Crystal is probably the first one I want to do. It breaks Demon Will Crystal Clusters of all aspects within its range, dropping the results on top of crystals. Right? Uh, so we need 44 total runes to activate this guy. Uh, and we do need dusk runes, so be aware of that. Um, all demon well crystal clusters have a single crystal broken off, spawning the crystal into the world. If there is only one crystal on the cluster, it will not break it. Um, horizontal radius is 5, vertical radius is 7. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know, actually. So what I'm probably going to want to do... I'm thinking maybe center this in the chunk and then put all the all the growers like on top of the thing would that be cool we're going to want to kind of see how these different things inter inter interrelate um resonance is a thing i might only need to do once i don't know if i need to do this regularly uh because once i've done it once i think we don't need any more if i'm not mistaken uh and then gathering of the forsaken souls uh supplies will catalyst to crystals within range from the attached inventory. Um, that's a radius of five and a vertical of seven. So that, what I'm thinking I could do is I could put this one on the ground, right? Fractured crystal. Place the demon will crystallizers on top of it to collect them all. And then kind of go from there. What does that say alchemy table? This is not an alchemy table. This is grass. Uh, does that sound cool? All right, so let's see. Where's the center of this chunk? Uh, what I'm going to probably want to do... Let's move all this stuff. Does that sound cool? I think that sounds cool. Because this was all temporary learning how things work set up anyway. Okay. We'll, we'll do this. I'm just going to break this. That'll give me a bunch of demon wool crystals. Give me that. 
give me all this. And that's cool. Uh, do I want to put it in the center of the chunk or in the corner of a chunk? Well, that's even a better question. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so I think I feel good about this position. Boop. Unable to plate, what? Does it need to be higher? It might need to be higher. It does need to be higher. Well, there's your problem. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so this ritual uh, should, in theory, uh, automatically harvest the crystals in range. So what I'm gonna do uh, is really quite simple. I'm going to probably, where do I wanna put them? I could really put them anywhere. It does say a five block radius. So, you know, I, I like the idea of placing the, the demon crystallizers on specific points maybe because we're going to want four of them at least one for well five right five yeah five at least one for each crystal uh now also we want to activate this bad boy boom rush of energy which drains some lp from my soul network but not a big deal it'll refill itself because automation uh so then demon will crystallizer is ready to go so Four is the is the number of uh, custom wills, right? If we look at it, there's the basic demon will, and then one, two, three, four special ones, which we'll take a look at making in a minute. Um, and this will automatically break them, so I'm just trying to decide how to break this into five. Like, I could put, like, four, like, one in each corner, and then in the middle have, like... I could just place a block here, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Does this need a block to sit on? I assume not. So that could be cool. Now this may, it needs a hundred to grow a crystal. We don't quite have that yet, uh, but we will get a demon crucible in here to, to burn stuff up and get it into the chunk. And let's put the hopper back for now, but this is a hundred percent temporary because we're going to be doing better things in a bit. Cool. All right, good deal. So then you should use up 100 will. Now I wonder if he needs exactly 100 to exist before he can grow, or if I'm 753 and I put you in there. Oh, right. 753 and I put you in there. Now you're at 100, 745, and then I'm going to put this in. Now we've got 100, so in theory this should grow a new spire, a new centerpiece, right? So that would be cool. Yes, it grew, beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna apply this guy to it, boom. And he should grow, you know, pretty good. And why don't we go ahead and toss these guys back together just so that we have them ready to go. And then you're gonna get the tile entity MBT and you're gonna get that and then you should be cool. Nice. Okay, looks good to me. So now, in theory, this ritual should bump off extras, right? So when we get to 1.0 progress, haha, -ha, it worked. See, I didn't have to click nothing or do nothing. It automatically did that. Um, so what I'm saying is, in addition to this, should we use the blood magic way to collect the items? Uh, which would be... Where's my rituals list? Uh, picks up items within its range and places them into the linked chest. So that only needs 12 runes. I can do that, right? 12 runes? Oh, uh, close. Okay. Uh, so reinforce slates. Oh, we need more stone. I should probably automate this with stuff, but, you know, it's fine. Okay. So give me a dozen more of these bad boys. Beautiful. And they'll place them into the adjacent chest. Now what what did that look like in terms of sizing? Not particularly large. It's not too bad. Where do I want to put you? 
could put you here. That might be too far away from where I want you to eventually be. How big does this... Uh, horizontal radius 10, vertical radius 10. Well, that's actually not bad. Uh, the location of the inventory which will place picked up items. Cool. Has to be within three blocks of the master. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's consider, let's put it here. I like that plan. So if we did that, what would it look like if it were like right here-ish, the master? That's doable, right? All right, so let's remove this here with the master. And this was call of the Zephyr. So we're going to need that in our ritual diviner. All of the Zephyr. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, and then the chest. I think we want the chest to go on top of it, if I'm not mistaken. And then we can activate it. Cool. Now, how are you doing, buddy? You're getting there. Is he working? Did this thing break because I put this ritual on top of it? Is that possible? But you know what? I think I overwrote... Oh, I think I... No. Yes, I did overwrite one. Yeah, this, this should be a... Yeah, no, this got overwritten. My bad. It overwrote the other... I thought it would not, but it did. That's my bad. So let's replace that guy. Uh, where? Well, actually, let's get the ritual in the right spot. So he said 10 block radius, right? So if I put him like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I mean... He's like right here, so that should work, right? That should be safe. Okay, that should be safe. With the chest on top. And then activate it. Okay, and in theory, what that should do, when you drop items in the world, it should pick it up. Pretty quickly, too, actually. He runs very fast. I like that a lot. That's actually very quick, and that is awesome. That is awesome fast. Okay, then we want to go back. To crack of the fractured crystal. One, two, three. That fixes that break that I did. Reactivate you. And then look what's happening. It's collecting them. Nice. That's cool. What kind of range do you have now? Not there. But I think I can alter, I think I can alter the range, the pickup range, and that's what I'm gonna do now. So let's get a Ritual Tinkerer. Just needs another Demon Slate. And a Master Blood Orb, and we get a Ritual Tinkerer. All right, so now this guy is an interesting mechanic. He's pretty cool. The way he works um, has three main modes. Uh, you can cycle between them with left, shift, and right button. Uh, information describes the function of the ritual, similar to the ritual diviner. Set will consumed, define area information. So picks up items within its range. Okay, cool. Um, set will consumed, we'll talk about that in a minute, because you can modify your rituals with different will types. And it will absorb will from the aura too, which is cool. Um, specifically, this carrying demon will crystals in your hotbar, one for each type of will you wish the ritual to consume. Further information about the effects of the demon will also be found in each ritual's respective pages. Specifies the zone that the ritual should work in and displays the current zone. If multiple zones can be specified, pressing shift right on the master ritual stone will cycle through them. Some rituals can be expanded far beyond their default areas, but keep in mind that this will increase the LP cost to match. Where did you even come from? Where, I ask. Where do you think he came from? Didn't I have, like, the thing with the stuffs? 
So let's try modifying this. So now what I'm going to do is cycle this to define area. Chest, the location of the inventory. See that? Okay, cool. Items in this range will be linked. Will be sucked into the... Okay, cool. So can I modify this? First block for new range storage, second block. Oh, that's cool. So if I did this and this... Oh, that's neato. If I did this... Let's actually make it a little bit bigger. This and this. That might be too big. That might be too big. There we go. That works. Is that cool? You might want that a little bit taller. So I would do this and this. That's cool. So now if I did, see, dropping stuff over here, and it's going right into the chest. Ah ha ha, that is awesome sauce. How cool is that? I like that a lot. Uh, okay, cool. Um, set will consumed. Now I wanna see what the Zephyr thingy can do with wills, right? So, uh, Call of the Zephyr. Are there any rune effects? I guess, or will effects? I guess not. Uh, what about Crack of the Fractured Crystal? This can specify the radius of that as well. Okay, cool. Uh, some things, though, do have... See, like, Corrosive steals health from non-players for regen. Um, some of these rituals have a will effect on them. So for example, Ritual of the Full Spring, is that no? Ritual of Speed increases the velocity caused by the ritual, further increases horizontal velocity based on total will, prevents adult mobs and players from being transported, prevent child mobs and players from being transported. So basically applies soft fall to mobs and players when transported preventing fall damage. So different types of will can be fed into rituals to have different types of effects which is cool. It's like how you can modify some rituals. But right now, this seems to be awesome. So now what I want to do um, is... Not that, but okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up laser IO. Okay. Uh, and we're going to... Basically, I'm thinking we could have... Two, three, four, five... Right? Eventually, we'll have multiple demon crucibles. Okay? So what I'm going to set up is prep for this right now. So let me get my laser wrench. You bind to here. And I'm probably going to want a node here. Um, you to these two. And you to this one. And then here, you're going to insert with a filter. You're going to insert... The filter you're going to insert with a filter you're going to insert with a filter and you're going to insert with a filter and your filter is going to be demon wells crystals okay so then uh i'm going to put this stuff in the chest by doing oh right now i'm not within the range <laughs> okay and then we're going to place our demon well crucible here and that should be inserting i would think once I set you to extract, one at a time, every 20 ticks should be fine. Cool? So now he's going to do his job. And if we just leave this alone, we will have a consistent net gain of Demon Well. It'll be slow because we're not applying that stuff to it yet, but still it'll work. Now let's look at getting the other types of Will. So I'm also going to need more Crystallizers. So I think I'm going to need five more Crystallizers and four more Crucibles. Five more crystallizers and four more crucibles. Be right back after I make them. All right, cooking up more ritual stones so we can get the different types of will now. So this will be pretty straightforward, I believe, if I'm understanding this correctly. First off, uh, is this ritual too high off the ground? He might be. 
but this is the one that we want. Okay. And then talk to me. How does this work? This ritual takes a well-grown, at least five spires, raw crystal cluster located two blocks above the master ritual stone and splits it into a new single spire. So let's make sure that first, if I go to define area. Okay, cool. Oh, actually, you're a little bit. No, that's fine. I guess that's fine, because what I'm probably going to do is have spires there. So that should work. That should work. Cool. All right. And then you, what do you get to define area for? Probably nothing. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I have to activate it, I think, before I can define it or do anything. Cool, awesome, cool. All right, now we want, oh, that's right, I had to make my things, I didn't make them yet. And I figured while I'm over here making, you know, my crucibles and my crystallizers and whatnot, uh, maybe it would be cool to make a little bit more well catalyst, 420, all right, that's not bad. I'll be pretty good here in a sec. Sweet. Because I'm going to want to apply this catalyst down here to this one. Okay. So the goal is to get it fully grown, and then it should split the wills in an intelligible way. So let's try it out. So I'm going to put you here. Now, in theory, I should be able to put you guys here. But you won't insert any will yet because we didn't filter them. Okay. Now you, let's get, actually, because this is a temporary, let's get you in here. And that should be sufficient to make this demon will crystallizer do its thing, right? Because we're at 100 up there. See it? Uh, so this guy should pop up a demon crystal. And then once he does, I can apply some catalyst. Now, how's this thing doing? He's actually a little bit low, believe it or not. Uh, because I, I had to use a lot of demon will to make all these things. But in theory, he should pop it up. It might... Are you competing with that guy, you think? Possibly? Possibly? Where's my time in a bottle? Where indeed? Oh, there it is. Dire. YouTuber blindness strikes again. There you go. Sweet. So we've got that guy. So I'm going to apply this to it, which should allow it to, you know, get its crystals a little bit better. There we go. And then once we have at least four spires, in addition to the base one, so five total, it should split. Sweet. It did. Look at that. Cool. So we got one of each type of crystal. Okay, and then we're gonna do it again. Hooray! And then we're gonna do it again. You know what I might do? I might splash this guy on here too. So that he can, you know, get me more will. Okay. That should be cool. Okay. I think that's good for now. I don't think we need him anymore, if I understand the mechanics of this mod properly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a Demon Will Crystallizer on each of these four dudes. Um, actually, I don't know if I wanted to do that yet, but eh, it's fine. Now these guys can be combined with, it needs a minimum of 1,200. It's actually being vacuumed up, which is cool. Um, so let's make sure that you've still got... Yeah, your speed modifier still exists. So let's get a bunch of will built up in the, in the chunk here, right? Uh, technically, I don't think I need you anymore, so I'm going to remove you. I think that's a valid course of action, and then I'll drop this. So then you should be accumulating a healthy amount of will in here, which is what I want. Okay. And then you're back at your base speed modifier. So let's splash another potion on you. 
which will burn through pretty quickly, but that's okay. Sweet. So I need a minimum of 1,200 to make um, the will crystals. Right? And it uses 100. So we want 1,600 in our, in, our, in our gem here, which might still exist in this guy. New. No. No. Where did I put my Tardic gem now? Oh, that's right. I was draining him. <laughs> that's right. Which means he's probably pretty empty. Yes, he is. So we need to build up 1,200 will here. That's going to take a hot minute. So, yeah. That should go not terrible, right? Even without the modifier, it's going to be decent-ish. Yeah, we're getting there. Remember, it's not a great ratio when you don't have the stuff applied, but it's still better than nothing. All right, let me get this recharged, and we'll be back in a minute. Actually, it looks like it's going to take me a minute to get this recharged. So what I'm going to do is uh, come back next episode for the recharging. Uh, so yeah, let's see. We're, we're in pretty good shape here. So I'm going to make more of those potions, which I hopefully can. Let's put you away and a few other things. Uh, let's do just a little bit of cleanup real fast. I don't think I need rituals at the moment. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap up the episode. Uh, I'm going to come back next time, get this all going uh, with the different types of crystals. And then that'll probably wrap up the will stuff, right? But so by the end of the next episode, my goal is to have basically as many of these as I want. And that would be cool. I think that's cool. I like the sound of it. So yeah, we'll figure out this Will stuff next episode. For now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, have more fun playing with this stuff. All right, for now, take it easy.